you know, I'm all about intensity and going hard, but sometimes to go far, you need to recover first to recharge your batteries. And I find that my body will let me know if I'm on the verge of burning out. Usually my mind or my body will start to kind of lock up. I might start feeling extremely anxious or moody or exhausted all the time. Also for me, this is more the exception than the rule. I find that my brain likes the path of least resistance too much. So if I give myself too much slack, I end up losing my edge. And before I know it, I'm on the couch watching motivational videos of Navy SEALs. My default rule is to execute on my original plan for that day and to only change things up if I feel I need to rest the day after. And if I need to rest, I'll usually first try to make the plan lighter. So if it's at work, I'll aim to do less than my original plan. If it's a, a workout, I'll try and do a lighter load. I'll usually only try something completely different if sticking to my original plan means something catastrophic will happen, like an injury, or I end up running two hours late for some meeting. And if I end up having to do the bare minimum, I usually have a minimum viable bar in mind. It's very loosey-goosey. So I haven't been feeling great today. Um, I'm struggling to press a weight, which means I'm gonna most likely hurt myself if I try and push through, or I might not even be able to do the workout. So instead, I'm gonna work on one of my, my main strength goal this year, which is to do a this workout I'm about to show you with this 106 pound kettlebell. Um, so it's called Simple and Sinister. And uh, I can't do a Turkish get up with this, it's a little too heavy. Um, but that's the goal by the end of the year. So instead, I'm going to do the workout with this 90 pound bad boy. And because it's been a, a little bit since I've done the workout, I'm probably not going to be able to finish the workout with this weight. So when I get too wobbly or tired, I'll switch over to this 72 pound kettlebell. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. So it's getting a little too shaky for me at the 90 pounds. I feel like I might drop it on myself and it's, uh, that's dangerous. So I'm going to switch over to the, this bad boy now. All right. Uh. 
Okay, so that was still challenging, but it was doable. Um, I feel like... I feel great that I made progress towards one of my big goals, and I don't really feel like I copped out. So I hope that was interesting for you to watch. I hope it was interesting for you to see my thought process with my goals and how I don't let my structure or the systems or the way I approach my life be too rigid. Um, anyways, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.